Welcome back to EduTube. Science is simple. In today's video, we're going to cover what specialized cells are. In humans, life begins as a single cell called a zygote, which is simply a fertilized egg. This cell then divides by mitosis into two cells, then four, and continues dividing. Initially, all of these cells are identical and not yet specialized. Over time, they undergo a process called differentiation, where they develop into specialized cells, such as red blood cells, nerve cells, or ciliated cells. Each type of specialized cell has a specific role in the body. To perform these roles effectively, they usually have distinct shapes and structures, as well as specific numbers and types of organelles. Humans are thought to have around 200 different types of specialized cells. In plants, examples include root hair cells and palisade mesophyll cells, although there are many more. These different types of cells are known as specialized cells. To better understand what a specialized cell is, let's take a closer look at a sperm cell and an egg cell. The role of a sperm cell is to deliver genetic material to an egg cell for fertilization. To carry out this function, both sperm and egg cells have several adaptations. For example, each nucleus contains only half the normal amount of genetic material, which is important because the two nuclei must combine to form a complete set. One of the key adaptations of a sperm cell is the flagellum, which acts like a tail and allows the sperm to swim through the uterus and fallopian tube to reach the egg. Its streamlined shape helps it swim efficiently. Additionally, sperm cells contain many mitochondria, which provide the energy required for movement. At the front of the sperm cell is the acrosome, which contains digestive enzymes that help break through the outer layers of the egg so that fertilization can occur. In an egg cell, the cytoplasm contains yolk droplets made of protein and fat, which serve as food reserves for the embryo's early development. This ensures the embryo has the energy and materials it needs before implantation or before the placenta is formed. If you look at red blood cells, they contain the red pigment hemoglobin to carry oxygen. Hemoglobin can bind with oxygen in the lungs and release it in tissues. Red blood cells lack a nucleus, which makes more space for hemoglobin to carry more oxygen. They also have a disc-like biconcave shape, which helps oxygen diffuse more quickly in and out of red blood cells. Nerve cells have different shape, and they are specialized for conducting electrical signals to and from the brain and spinal cord. These cells have very long fibers that connect distant parts of the body to the central nervous system, such as the foot and the spinal column. These long fibers help electrical signals to travel efficiently over long distances. The lining of the nose and windpipe are lined by ciliated cells. They have tiny hair-like projections called cilia. The cilia beat continuously in a flicking motion. This movement creates a current that moves mucus, along with trapped dust and bacteria, away from the lungs and towards the throat, where it can be expelled. Plants also have specialized cells. For example, Palisade mesophyll cells are found just beneath the upper epidermis of plant leaves. They are column-shaped and packed with chloroplasts, which trap light energy. Their main function is photosynthesis using carbon dioxide, water, and light energy to make food for the plant. Root hair cells are another type of specialized plant cell. Each cell has a hair-like projection that penetrates between soil particles. So, they have a large surface area for absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil. In both animals and plants, these specialized cells are produced through the differentiation of stem cells. Stem cells are unspecialized cells that can divide repeatedly by mitosis and have the potential to become different types of specialized cells. We'll take a closer look at stem cells in another video. If this video helped you understand specialized cells better, make sure to like, Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss a bite sized science lesson from EduTube. Until next time, keep learning, stay curious, and remember science is simple.